Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss so one core Java interview question. So, what is that? Why we cannot handle errors in Java? As so we know that the hierarchy of exception handling, and here it is what is the top class of all the exceptions is a throwable. And here it is a throwable class is having two extensions. So, one is a exception, so one is a exceptions, and of course, we, we can handle these exceptions right can handle so is allowed is allowed but now the question is and here it is there is another extension is called error so why we cannot handle this error see so all the hand all the error classes belongs to lang package only and here it is the sum of the errors if you if you can see then you can understand so why we cannot handle so generally first of all we should know what is an exception so exception means what it's a runtime error so while application is running right if there is any problem has raised so that is what we call exception right at the time of application execution right here it is so some of the errors you can see uh, suppose so if main method is not present in application so it will give one error that is no such method error see exceptions and errors are classes so every word starts with a capital letter and following the naming convention of a uh, class and see here it is I have never seen sir yeah of course you are using JDK 1.8 I think if you install JDK 1.6 in the old, older versions it is very clear that. So, now it uh, means what in JDK 1.8 they have given a clear message that so if something if main method is not there if main method is missing so clearly it is saying that right so please write the main method as follows like a public static wide main string arcs. So, but in early days as up to JDK 1.6 uh, right if you are not writing that main method so it will give that error is a no such method error you please define first and next so whenever we are executing the application so whenever we are running the application so for example if memory is not there sufficient memory is not there to run the application it will give one more error is called out of memory error and next one uh, suppose here it is whenever we are trying to execute the program so first jvm is looking for the class file suppose if class is not found to start so it will give that class definition not found class def not found not found error or a simply no class def found error such type of errors this is generally i am writing and here it is a no such method error out of memory error and class definition not found error see look at all these errors so, means what? So, suppose if main method is not there, if main method is missing, can you run the application? So, no, execution starting point is a main method. So, you have to place, if you are not writing the main method, so directly it will give that error message, please define the main method. Even we cannot start the Java application, it is not exception. So, what is that exception? After starting the Java application, now Java application is executing in the middle. Suppose if suddenly if any error has raised, that is we can call it as an exception. But here, if main method is not there, even you cannot start the application. And next, suppose if memory is low, right? So then how can you solve the problem? So explicitly you have to increase the JVM size and explicitly you have to increase your RAM size and all. Physically, we need to perform all the things. And here it is a class definition not found error. If class is not there, then how can you start the application? So, to start the application first, JVM need to load the classes, na? right? So, loading is important. So, later execution. So, here it is a class definitions are not there from where you will execute, right? So, means what in case of errors, even you cannot run the application. Exception means what? So, once you start application execution, if there is any problem has raised. So, then the, what that is what we call exception such type of things we can control, but errors we cannot control. So, this is the only reason behind that why we cannot handle errors in exception handling. Okay. So, hope you understood so, for more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you.